maybe we should jump forward to centennial year because centennial year in Canada 1967 was was a major initiative in the arts and there were a lot of theaters being built at that time I was first of all dragooned onto the National Centennial Committee which supervised the whole thing all the works and that that was a very interesting experience indeed with people from across the country uh, very distinguished people and I was among the younger more rambunctious my French was poorer than most of them though some of them didn't have any friends at all uh, and um, I got from that uh, the notion of what was going on across the country and uh, then I went down to help Leon Major start Neptune Theater. Nineteen. This is 1963. It opened, and uh, we had a marvelous summer season there. Um, and uh, while I was there, I got a phone call from Frank McKinnon, the president of one of the colleges in Charlottetown, saying, "Would I like to come over on my?" on my Sunday off for a bit of fishing and uh, so I I bit but I didn't realize at the time that I was the fish this is when they had already started to build their confederation center in Charlottetown and were looking for somebody to run it and the the committee there of mostly local people but some other dignitaries I did, did, did the same sly trick that the committee at Stratford did on Guthrie. Instead of saying, here's what we want, they said, what do you think we ought to do with this place? And? That is a hook. <laughs> that is a hook, you know. And that, that's precisely what persuaded Guthrie to come to Stratford and persuaded me to go there. And so immediately um, the the season was over at uh, Neptune. I hopped over to the island and then I spent the next three or four years really commuting between Toronto and the PEI, driving, often flying, often spending horrible nights in Moncton Airport, uh, but getting that place built. And I, they also asked me to run their preview 1964 centennial because, the, you see, the fathers met in Charlottetown in 1864, not in 1867. So they were doing a kind of dry run for the country, and they were aided and abetted in this by the federal government, uh, who put up a great deal of money. And the first year we had, uh, we had just a number of engagements uh, filling the theater. I had no proper festival. But there were big singers, uh, performers, and we did one quite remarkable thing that's not been noticed in the history books. Um, we had a week of uh, a, a, a show directed by Jean Gascon, which came across the continent uh, over the weekend. Um, it it um, opened in. Um, in Vancouver on the Monday, finished its run for the Vancouver Festival, finished its run on the Saturday. We flew it across the continent to open in Charlottetown on uh, the, the Monday night. And to my astonishment, I learned much later from friends in New York and LA afterwards, this has never been tried. Nobody had ever been so foolish as to try and move a major production across the continent over a weekend. From Vancouver to Charlottetown? Yeah. Did it work? Yeah. It, yes, it was, it was a great success. We had to have, I remember, portions of the plane door enlarged to get the scenery in and things like that. But here was something that we did. I, I did it because I didn't know any better. Wow. <laughs> Whereas we were... We had no idea we were breaking this, right. this uh, starting this remarkable tradition.